Hey man, how's it going? Okay, so last episode we created a reactor, a big reactor. This episode we're going to do two things. First of all, we're going to create a system that controls when the reactor is on or off. Um, and the second, you know, so that we don't waste fuel or anything like that, because like if we go and turn the, the thing on at the moment, because even though there's no power being output, it will still operate. You know, it'll still burn fuel, and that's bad. So we're going to create a little automated system that controls when the reactor is turned on or off, all right? Um, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of things that let us control, you know, that let us basically transmit power from where it's being generated over at the reactor to where we need it. So that's our two jobs for today, all right? Now the first thing is the control system. <coughs> and we're going to create one of these. This is called a programmable, this is a, well you can see it on the screen, it's a programmable rednet controller. This is a pretty complicated, it's an easy build, but what this thing does is pretty freaking amazing, alright? So, like I keep saying to you from time to time, you should by now be used to looking up NEI, looking up the recipes, um, you know, we just need some plastic sheet, and then some more plastic sheet, you know, it's a really easy thing to make. So, let's both go at it, let's make one of these, and we will meet back here in a moment. Okay, you've got your Rednet controller. Now you should also have a piece of Rednet cable hanging around because we made some in order to make our um, our Rednet port for the, the reactor. Okay. Alright. Now we're just going to go and put this on top of here for the moment. Looks pretty funky. You can do a lot of stuff with this and at one point we're going to end up doing a, um, a special episode just on this Rednet controller. All right. Now the cable we connect from this, you know, along here so that it plugs into this Rednet port. Okay, right click on the port and it brings up this pile of stuff. Okay. Now, this cable here is capable of transferring 16 different channels, you know, for instructions backwards and forwards, and it's all, you know, based on color, you know. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to going to left click on this, this one here, which says whether or not the reactor's on or off. And we're going to left click on here to say that <coughs> the white channel is whether or not it's on or off. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set this one. This is, yeah, let's see now. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, you can see how this is an input one, and this is an output one, right? So basically the reactor is expecting to to get a signal to turn the, rea um, the reactor on and off, and we set that to white, and this one is the reactor will send out um, a signal on the, you know, on, for this, to tell us how much energy is currently stored within it. So let's go down here, right? And you can see that this is 94.5% full. That's the internal buffer. You see the little little battery looking icon? All right. It's the same one that you, that you see here. So, what it means, when we set it up like this, it means that when we send a signal in on white, it will turn the reactor on and off. The orange color will come out of the reactor and tell us how full the energy is, right? So if we save this, 
the orange channel will currently be saying 94.5 and we press the commit button to save it good now let's go over here <clears throat> there's a whole pile of stuff here all right these are all like you know circuit bits and pieces and like I said when we go through a um a special on this Redneck controller we'll actually go through a lot of these just to show you what they all do for the moment all right we want to choose this one less than or equal now the first thing is we want to set this to being now you can see the cable goes in and out on the left so we want this to be IO on the left and we want it to be orange because that's the one that's telling us how full the power is yeah and the second one we want to be it's a constant and we want to say when the power is less than say 25 alright so what we're saying is that when the power is less than you know the power in the internal storage buffer this thing here is less than 25 percent we want to do something okay so less than or equal is just comparing this to this and what we want to do is when it's less than 25 percent when this turns out as true we want to turn the reactor on and the reactor control is on the white channel out the same side so we'll set this to being io left white and that's all we have to do we don't need to do anything else because when this is not true when this is false um, it will send false or off out via the same thing let's uh let's just try that shall we I'm just gonna cheat in something vibrant capacitor good All right, this is a power storage system, all right? Now currently, the reactor is outputting via that port to the storage system. All right, and you can see that the internal storage went down to, let's get rid of some of these. Fifty thousand. 25,000 all right so when that fills up um, the reactor should you know start to fill up its internal buffer and when the buffer reaches 25% it should turn off 19 20 21 22 23 okay let's go and have a look at this and now we're filling up three four five and it's turned itself off awesome all right so that works perfectly now we'll just give ourselves a bit of um, a bit of range of makeup for what we burnt La 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 Alright We'll take one out of that Whatever Okay, so we've got our controller 
and it will turn itself on and off depending on how full the storage buffer is. Good, good, good. Now we need a way to send power where we want it to go. And what we can use for cable right now is Ender IO Energy Conduit. All right. Now there's three levels of energy conduit. This one, this one, and this one. And have a look at how much difference there is in how many RF per tick it can it can send. Now to make this one, we need three of these vibrant alloys. That is energetic alloy plus an ender pearl. Energetic alloy is gold, redstone, and glowstone. So uh, yeah, let's go and make three of those. Come on, three. Wonderful. Good. So we've got some conduit, right? Now we need a means of actually sending power where we need it to go. And the thing we're going to use for that is this block. It's called a, um, a dimensional transfer, transceiver. It sends stuff, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of places. Basically anything, anywhere. Um, it is one of the coolest blocks in the whole mod pack when you think about what it actually does. Now, to make this, we need some stuff. Alright? We're going to need um, fuse quartz, electrical steel, which is made using iron, which we know about, coal, which we know about, silicon. Sorry. Silicon, alright? And you get that from putting certain things in a sag mill. Probably the best thing to put in a sag mill sand. So let's uh, grab a couple of blocks of this and we'll sag mill this. And a stack of iron. Good. Iron, coal, silicon. Okay, so we've made some electrical steel. We've uh, collected some nether quartz, 17 stacks, just a little of it. Alright. I want to make um, probably six of these, alright? So, you know how this works. This we've made before to put in our, our machines. This is just four nether quartz makes a fused quartz. Um, Ender Resonator is going to require a machine called a Slice and Splice. And the Ender Crystal requires a Soul Binder. There are a couple of... Oh, god damn. These two. <clears throat> so, I mean, you can see the recipes. You can see how they're made. Get at it, man. Let's um, let's make one of these each. A slice and splice, and a, a soul binder. Oh, um, just quickly while we're at this, this thing, right? We need some um. You know, some of these vibrant crystals, easy to, to make, uh, takes 10 levels, and we also need a soul vial with an enderman in it, alright? Now that require to make one of these requires some fuse quartz and some solarium. Now if I want to make six of these, that means I need a whole bunch of these fuse quartz and I need six of these solarium. Um, so 
so I need six Salarium for vials. I need another five here, so that's eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, um, let's just make sixteen. Do to do to do. Uh, alloys only. Yep, good. All right, no worries. We'll be back soon. You you basically know what we need to make, all right? We need to make um, slice and spice soul binder and a bunch of these. Uh, what do you call them? Files. All right. Remember all those heads we collected? Use a skeleton head to make the uh, slice and spice. Okay, I got them here. Soul binder and slice and spice. Soul binder is pretty easy. Slice and spice. We actually need a iron axe and a pair of shears to operate. And now what? Hmm. Okay. Twenty-one. All good. Now we all, all we need to do is bugger off to the nether and catch some endermen. Let me just put away my levels. Let's go to the portal. Bum 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 bum. Don't know what happened there, but uh, anyway. So all you do is you uh, grab your soul vial, right click on an enderman, and you got him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, and there's seven soul vials with endermen in them. <coughs> now we're trying to make six of these um, these transceivers, so we need six of these octatic capacitors, which is twelve of these and twenty-four of these. All right. Let's get to it. Twenty-four of those. Sixteen, twenty-four. Alright, that's enough. Two, three, four. Good. Now I need 24 of these energetic alloys. 24 gold, 24 redstone, 24 glowstone. Gold, redstone, glowstone. That'll take a while. Okay, so this is where we're up to. Electrical steel, fuse quartz, octatic capacitors, or whatever the fuck you want to call them. <sighs> Ender crystals. We need six of these. We've got the soul vials, and now we need these vibrant crystals. That is an emerald around, you're yeah, surrounded by vibrant nuggets. Which you get from vibrant alloy, so I think I just need six of these. Um, let's go and get some some glowstone. Hmm. 
Oh, boom, 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 gold. Good. Alright. Okay, so we're making this thing the ender crystal, right? We need a vibrant crystal, a soul vial, and some levels to make each one in a soul binder. It's that soul binder, so you just click the crystal, click the soul, it'll say use player XP. Yep, wonderful. And then I'll start making it. So I'll go and collect some levels from downstairs. Good. All right. Bum 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 bum. Right. I'll uh I'll finish these up. And the last thing is these Ender resonators, which requires silicon, which I've got, solarium, which I can make. Enderman heads and vibrant alloys. We want to make six, so once again, that's uh, six of these. Good. Do do. Wonderful. Looks like we're done. Good. Alright. This is how it works. Alright. So we're getting output from the, um, the power tap. Remember, this is only temporary. Okay, so, and we attach this to the power tap. And we say, we're going to do filters. This is power. This is items. Liquid. And rail. So you can send, set separate channels and all that kind of thing for, for sending or receiving, all of that kind of thing simultaneously. So power, we want general power and add it to the available list and then say we're sending here all right and go over here where the um, the solar panel is put that down and we say that power we're receiving and now we've got massive amounts of power available here. Alright. Mechanism. Is this box? So let's go and have a look at our miner. Alright. Um. Oh, for God's sakes, I forgot to update the, uh, the thing. There it is. Alright. So, if I put... Oh, we finished. Bugger. Alright, let's take all this. Yeah, ba 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 where are we going to put this? Right about here looks good. Four, five. 
So it's four times faster than normal. Uh, let's put this here. A chunk loader. Um, we'll drop one of these here. Power. Quarry. And we're receiving. Seven, seven, sixty-three. Save. All right. Let's go home. And we need to send power on the quarry channel. Good. Now let's head off back to the quarry, back to the miner, and see how we're doing. Start. See? Faster. Good stuff. Alright, that's going to do us for today, I think. Sorry, it's, um, it's late. Alright, I'll see you next time.